everybody. Bobby Fye here for my five and five. I'm not going to be sharing my screen as usual because we're running a little short on time today. I had a bunch of other stuff to take care of this morning and it's a big slate. So I will get right to what I'm doing. Number one, pitching. There are legitimately six to seven guys I'm considering weather dependent. Right now I have my favorites as Rodon, Sandoval, Erod, pricing considered an option, a thing there, Severino, Freed, Gaussman. Those are the guys I'm, I'm probably going to roll with. Um, I'm considering uh, Stroman and Alcantara. A uh, little bit of weather concerns uh, for Alcantara, and then Stroman has the wind blowing out a little bit. But I just think that uh, at the price of 5900 I was going to take a shot maybe, but probably sticking to the Rodon, Erod, Severino, Freed as my main guys with some Gaussman and Sandoval mixed in. I think Sandoval might end up moving up by, for me by the end of the day. Um, our other top plays, uh, oh, before everybody gets mad at me over my site, please like and subscribe. If you don't already, check out the best Discord in the industry. I've been unbelievably hot with my NBA bets all season and then it's carried over. I won all of them again yesterday. Uh, we're back up over 80% for the postseason. And uh, if not for a couple point spreads, we'd be over 90 right now. And it's it's been really good. So I suggest you guys check that one out. Um, anyway, back to uh, the stacks of the day. Uh, look, it's going to be a little more spread out, but there is going to be concentration on the Dodgers. If the Yankees game goes, I like the Yankees a lot. I like the Dodgers. I like Toronto more as a mini stack, but I like them a little bit. I like them as a, as a mini stack for sure. Maybe even a full stack. I like the White Sox, maybe some minis from KC and then the Houston, Texas game, but that's pretty much the Dodgers. Yankees are my priorities with the White Sox, Houston being next with Toronto bats like mixed in at two and three man stacks all over the place with guys like Collins and Bichette especially. So those are some of my favorite one offs there. Uh, we've got Collins uh, catching if assuming that he bats fourth again. Uh, I think that he's a great play. I love Bichette. I love a lot of shortstops. Uh, so I will be playing basically just Seager, Anderson and Turner. Um, I love Bregman. I like some first baseman as well. Uh, I like Olsen. Uh, and I really like Freeman as well as uh, Abreu. And then spend downs. I don't love him as much today. Like if you have a Yankee stack, Andahar is 2K and probably going to bat seventh. I think I would use that. Um, I love Bellinger. He's the cheapest Dodger, but he's going to probably see some ownership way more than he's early on projecting because he always does. Um, he's also the reigning uh, player of the week. So go belly. Um, AJ Pollock and Tim Anderson for the White Sox stand out to me. But that's basically essentially what I'd be doing. Join us at 6 Eastern because we do have some weather stuff to go to. And real quick, I'm not going to give away all my NBA bets today, but Scott Foster is ref, uh, refing the Chris Paul game tonight. So I will be betting the Pelicans to cover the six and a half. And that's where I'm at. It sees Scott Foster 13 and 0 against Chris Paul in the playoffs. So uh, look, it's going to end at some point, but I'm going to roll with it while it's still going out. I'm not saying the Pelicans to win, but I do like them to cover. But uh, that's where I'm at. So anyway, good luck to everybody. I'll see you at 6 Eastern. Sorry, we only had a, a brief amount of time tonight, but uh, we'll, be, we'll be fully prepared for you at 6 Eastern. So good luck, everybody.